Hello everyone and welcome. I'm joined with Eva Hussein, Polaron's director and founder. Eva, you recently told me about uh, something that Poland did for America, which has a lot of signatures from Polish school children, children and teachers. Could you tell me a little bit more about it? Absolutely. So this is one of the most exciting things I have ever found online. Um, and I'll show you this resource in, in a moment. But what uh, Poland did in 1926, um, they decided to uh, gift um, something pretty special and pretty precious to America. Um, the USA, were, um, the country was celebrating 150th anniversary. So what they decided to do is um, put together um, commemoration books which were then signed by school children and um, teachers um, in 1926 so it's a very interesting snapshot of um, of that you know that time just a moment in time and all these books were collected and then sent uh, across to America as a gift um, so what I'm going to do is show you the website itself um, Stephanie um, and show everyone that's watching how to find your um, family's records if they happen to be in Poland in 1926 and if they happen to be at school. Um, so, you know, they, they would have been from about the age of seven to, say, 17 if, if they, um, you know, were in high school. And also some teachers' um, um, signatures are here too. So everything's been digitalized. It's part of, the, of a very big uh, project um, that was recently uh, finalized. Um, and, you know, as you can see, there are lots of organizations that contributed to this because it was a massive job. Mm -hmm. uh, but in here, you can actually find um, the actual stamp. So I'm going to show you um, how, how to work it, if again, if, if your family was in Poland at that time. So what you can do here is um, find, you, you can type in a place. So let's say this is, um, you know, my ancestral home um, and it'll bring up uh, all the commemoration books that were created there. Uh, and um, I actually went to this school. So my, my mother went to this school and my, my grandmother went to this school. So in 1926, Potentially, my, my grandmother's name's in there. So um, let's have a look if we can find it. Uh, and I will, you, you can download this photo once it loads. I'll show you what it looks like. It's a bit slow, sorry. How did you find this website as well? Or find How did I find it, it in the first place? Yeah. I don't even know, you know, like <laughs> I was I was just um, searching, you know, like I, I, I have... Yeah. Uh, not much Anything else. what you can find. <laughs> so many things on the internet. During lockdown. So let me show you. It's going to open the document now. And we have been able to find, um, you know, our clients, grandparents or great grandparents' signatures, which is really super exciting. So what that says here is USA 776-1926, which is the anniversary I've mentioned. Mm -hmm. And um, so the entire Polish um, school system is gifting this um, to, to America to commemorate um, the 150 years of independence. Okay, so this one is the high school uh, that, um, you know, I went and my mother went and my grandmother went, but my grandmother was born in 1917, so she wasn't at that school at the moment, but here you have names of all the teachers that work there. Uh, at the time and all the um, uh, students. So um, just going back here, um, there's several pages. Um, there was also in, in the town that I come from, there was also a, a, another school, another high school that was commercial school. So here mm -hmm. you have that. Um, and what else? Uh, there was a teacher's school. So all the schools are listed um, and each, you know, I'll show you another page maybe because um, that'll be interesting to see. Um, and you can, you can, you know, you can make it bigger and just, um, you know, each of the classes is listed and everyone's signatures there, yeah? which is pretty cool. Uh, the other thing you can do other than find the, the town, uh, oh yeah, you can, you can make it really, really big. As you can mm -hmm. see, I don't know if you can see this. Can you see? Yeah, yeah cool. 
Um, so it, it's such a precious, you know, this, this is going back uh, 100 years, uh, really. So it's such a precious uh, thing to see the students labored signatures. And, um, you know, it tells you a lot um, about the people of, of the day, I guess. Yeah. Yeah. So let's say uh, uh, I put my grandmother's surname. Um, so you search through here. Uh, and now it's found, you know, somebody called Haya Storch, um, pot potentially related to me because my family comes from another town near there. Um, mm -hmm. So I can search either through the place or through... Uh, the surname or both you can you can um, you know search both mm -hmm. so whoever Haya Stark was uh, I can see her signature here which is uh, quite um, you know moving I think and also what they've done is they've um, listed the name of teachers and um, and also uh, principals and all of that um, so all of this was done in 2017 so not that long ago but it was a massive effort because if you think about it there's six million names here so each of them had to be deciphered, transcribed, and digitalized so that nowadays we can, uh, you know, we can look at uh, those records. Um, and here, there's further information about where this sits uh, and what school it is. Um, and um, it'll, it'll this will show you the entire volume 50, which, um, you know, so each of the schools received a book like that, and then everyone, um, wrote in it and they passed it on to the you know town or village next door so to summarize if you're interested if you know that somebody may have been a student in Poland in 1926 out of your you know ancestors it's very likely that uh, their name and signature will be here you can search through uh, the town that your family comes from on the surname uh, you need to be a little bit creative with the surnames uh, because sometimes the spelling might be a little bit different uh, but if you spend a bit of time on this particular website, you might be lucky and be able to find your family uh, details there and the signature, which is pretty special. I think. Thank you so much, Eva. It's such, yeah, it's such an amazing thing to see. And if people can find their family, that's even more exciting. And we will put the uh, website on um, just below this video. We will indeed. Thank you.